Hello there, you're watching The Look Ahead with me, Katie Pilbeam. This is what we at IG are looking out for on Wednesday, the 22nd of June. Well, first up, we expect the Westpac leading index from Australia. We are expecting a number of minus 0.2%. 2% for the month of May. Now, there's been lots of concerns surrounding the Australian economy this week, talking about the ageing population and what that will do to the labour market uh, going forward. It's a problem that a lot of countries, including Japan, are dealing with at the moment. I uh, also want to talk about the Eurozone consumer confidence is expected to come out at minus 7 for June. Now, this number has been rising for two consecutive months and remains the same for this month. This number was the lowest in March at minus 9.7. So this is still an improvement. And of course, it remains that as we can see. Now, a lot of this is partly to do with expectations that we might see a continuation of stimulus from the ECB. Okay, let's talk about the US because we've got existing home sales on the way. They're due to come out with the May consensus at plus 1.1%. Now, this adds to the boost that we had in April with those figures, uh, adding to the, the optimism, really, for the world's biggest economy. Now, US existing home sales, these are very crucial because it helps us evaluate, measure the strength of the US housing market, and it is regarded as a key indicator of the total economic strength of the country. Now, the housing sector in the US has been relatively strong that's thanks to the high levels of US employment right now now for those of you trading oil want to uh, watch on to this one we've got the crude oil inventories now despite two years of an oil rout that's uh, really wrecked the balance sheet of many oil producers it's now averaging around uh, 50 dollars a barrel and this means shale companies which have been looking on in absolute horror at the oil price for the last uh, two years as I say uh, they're now continuing with their projects obviously it's early days but it has been a good year 2016 has been a good year for the black gold i'm yet to mention eu referendum so i'm going to do it now we've got channel four that's the place to go tomorrow night we've got jeremy paxman he's going to be hosting a, an eclectic array of guests including the swedish-born television presenter eureka johnson she's going to be there also lord lawson as well nigella's uh, dad of course nigella lawson's dad um so as i say it's an eclectic mix it's going to be an interesting one kind of like the voice of the people, if you like. Um, it's going to have a different vibe, I think, to the debates that we've had so far. Um, that's it. Thank you so much indeed for watching, and I hope you come back tomorrow for more.